Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Air of the Today we'll be reading for the collective. Hey collective, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell to book a private reading with me or shop in my store. All that information is in the description box below. All right, so let's get into it. Cut and dry. <laughs> Cut and dry. Okay. You also have the star. So you are the star of the show. All right. Your mother feels slighted by you that you move forward and you've cut complete communication with you. Basically, everywhere I go, your mother is going to be. So it's like your mother will always be in your shadow because she doesn't approve of what you do. Okay. That was very straight to the point. Shit. <laughs> like I keep hearing, um, if I had one wish, um, by um by Ray J. Yeah, journey is in reverse. She cannot come with you to your next path, your next journey. She had to do too much to you. Okay? And she was just gonna be nothing but a motherfucking thief, a thief of joy, thief of happiness, thief of finances. Um, taking away, you know, you, people that love you and, and things that just, no, it's just, no, no. And you got to be okay with knowing that, yes, this is your mother that is doing this. Yes, I can relate. Child, I can relate. Okay. Um, but you have to be in a space where you realize that these terms, these words, mother, father, cousin, sister, uncle, it's just that. It's just words. A lot of people don't put passion behind the words that they speak or the titles that they want to, you know, hold for themselves. There's a lot of um, very toxic mothers out here that feel as though because they earned, and I say that loosely, that they have earned the title of mother, they feel like they can treat you any kind of way. And that's just not, no, no, absolutely not. Times are changing. People are now starting to be more aware and they are starting to uh, be hip to what's going on around them. And your mother is a catalyst for your destruction. Just being honest with you, okay? Privileged lady, she doesn't see you as a privileged lady or the privileged man, okay? She just feels like you shouldn't have anything whatsoever. And she's willing to go the extra mile to make sure that you don't have anything, okay? I that the every go mother could. I basically is saying I wish that I can go everywhere that she go or he go okay your mom is want to be in your shadows doesn't even want you to have a relationship main male doesn't want you to even have a relationship and does everything possible to sabotage your connections your relationships here okay very bitter very 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 bitter so we have mature man and gift there might be a mature man coming towards you with the gift here your mom might be actually facing um some jail time too okay i'm hearing fed time mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. They're facing I heard feds. Yeah. Mm. 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 They stressed because they took something from you. May have taken your innocence, may have taken your finances, may have taken your physical uh try to take your physical attributes. They've tried everything possible to stop you from moving forward dark energy that six letter word mother not everyone has the capacity to be that some of it is just it's just a words or letter letters to people and in this instance here your mother is considered that that's all she is she's just this is letters doesn't exist um, spirit is saying for you to heal yourself from the situation. You are very aware of what's going on. Yes, you are. Absolutely. You need to acknowledge it for what it is and you need to 
heal it and you need to move forward here. Yeah, unplug. You need to step away from, from this mother-like figure here because it's they're nothing but they, they bring nothing but toxicity to you. Nothing but toxicity to you. They're going to be jammed up in their own situation. You ain't got nothing to do with you. Stay out the way, mind your business, and keep moving forward here. Okay? Yeah, very vindictive. Always been like a, a form of a competition between you and her. But the thing is, it was very one-sided because you was never in competition with your mother. You don't think like that. You don't act like that. Yeah, vision. Okay? You you, did, you didn't see it in that way. And six, breaking it down, 26. Six plus two is eight. You always looked at your mother in a very abundant way, in a very loving way. But she didn't look at you in that way. Review. This is how you review. You always reviewed your mom as a very strong, loving individual. But when you realized the things where you were able to see through the fog and you were able to see it, I'm going to call it it, you are able to see it for what it was, you were able to pull back. This is where the exploration comes in. You realize that a house is not a home or a home is not a home or a house is not a house. Because a lot of things, a lot of vile things been happening in that house of horror. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But exploration is here and you dive deep to see what was up and it's actually weakened it weakened her or at least the relationship aspect of it because i'm hearing please take me back arrival is here they're going to be coming back asking for forgiveness i can't tell you what to do that's up to you if you feel that's important for you to do go ahead if it's not then move forward okay um but you need to make sure you you are making the decision not them or her you are making the decision the best decision for you here okay I'm just here to give you the message. We have wholeness here, okay? Tranquility is also in first. So, like, every time you're around this individual, you don't feel whole. You don't feel, like, tranquil. It's always some kind of a chaos, unnecessary chaos around this person. This is all you remember, which is chaos. Chaos, 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 chaos. And um, you always had, like, a hard time to create and to do things for yourself because in the background you always had this mother-like figure that's trying to sabotage your life so yeah love it is what it is love is in reverse there is no love there they don't have love for you and i'm i, I feel like for you you're getting to the point where you don't have no love for them so it's equal okay don't let nobody come back in to love bomb you with no type of shit because that's probably what she's trying to do or will try to do we have anxiety and we have um, memory here. So she's going to try to re-trigger re you from the past, okay? Trying to emotionally manipulate you. Listen, I mean, hey, if it was me, i say fuck off. I don't give a fuck who you are. Ain't nobody disrespecting me. Ain't nobody coming to me with no weird shit. I don't give a fuck who you are. You can be the motherfucking Pope. If your ass is wrong, I'm going to pull your ass up. And this person needs to be pulled up at the in the utmost utmost way however you want to do it peacefully or disrespectfully that's up to you but this person needs to be pulled up and called out for the bullshit that they have caused unnecessarily in your life the void now because i'm telling you they're going to come back they're going to try to have a conversation with you if you decide to open up their door i don't advise that but i'm just going to give you your suggestions if you decide to allow this this person this icky person back into your life Start with the truth. Start talking about well, what, what, why this happened in this way. Bombard them with the truth to so to the point where it starts to break them down and crush them. Because what you're doing there is you are teaching them a lesson about learning to stand in their truth, no matter how hard it is. No matter how hard it is, you are the catalyst to show this person or whatever. I don't even, I wouldn't even call this a person. It. But you have the ability to change it around if you so choose to do that by showing it the raw truth of self. And that's going to crush it as it should because there's no reason why a mother should be in competition with her child. No reason whatsoever. So if you allow this person to come back in, hit them with the fucking truth and nothing but the truth. Period. Make their ass squirm. Just how they made you squirm every day. Every waking day. Some days you have some times where you didn't even know what was going on. Your mother is the reason why shit going on in your life. You got sexuality here as well too. And it's going both ways. Okay. So your mother may be sexual as well too. And we're doing things behind the scene to make you sexual. Mm -hmm. 
We're doing things behind the scenes to make you feel like her. Like I be telling you guys, how somebody feel about you is how they feel about themselves. So if they don't like you, they don't like them. They don't like themselves for a reason. And something within you triggers them to the reason why they don't like you. Okay? So sexuality, yeah, they could have said that you were um, very promiscuous. You you um, you put yourself out there. You're cheating on people. You lying. Okay? Tolerance is in reverse because they couldn't tolerate you. They don't like you. So they hit you. They hit, they, they, they made sure they hit you with the sexuality because you're too... Um, I hear withdrawn. You're a very withdrawn person here. Then we have union. They came. They came in. Came in between your union. Create is in reverse. Union is upright. They have sabotaged many of your unions, your connections, your boyfriends, your girlfriends, your friends, etc., etc. Okay, but they're behind the scenes telling people, oh, well, this person ain't right. This person, the whole your own mother doing that shit to you. Your own mother doing that shit to you, child. Mm, mm, mm. It's sad. I can, I can't. Okay, so they make sure they have a lot of people, an entourage or a group of people rallying behind them to make sure that their lies stick because they do not like you. They want to destroy you. And this person is willing to destroy you by any means necessary. They don't want you to be in a relationship. They don't want you to have no money. They don't want you to be successful. So that's why they're always calling around and, oh, did you hear about such and such? And they just make up lies. Unnecessary. But let me tell you this. You're going to be able to see who's telling the truth and who's not telling the truth. It's all in their face, their 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 weight, their, their, their body in that kind of way. When you look at this person, they're going to look real sickly to you. You're like, what's wrong with you? It's going to be very evident. You're going to see something is completely off. And that's the way the universe wants it because <laughs> the universe is huge on telling the truth. It's huge on standing in your truth. The universe prefers if you, if you speak up and tell the truth. They don't like lies because lies always come back around and be revealed. And when it's revealed, this is where this retrograde come in. When it's revealed 10 times out of 10, a lot of people can't handle the truth being revealed. So if you are able to um, to stand in your truth and to speak up about what happened, it's going to be less hurtful. And you know, the universe is making it specifically for you to show in front of everyone because this person made sure they went behind your back. See how this is the difference between a lie and the truth. I need to explain to you. A liar will go behind your back to hide what they said about you because it's not truthful. Versus a person who is standing in their truth, don't give a fuck who don't like, who don't, whatever. They're very vocal and they're very confident because that's their truth. And that's the difference between someone that's telling a truth versus someone that is telling a lie. The person that is telling the truth is going to stand up very proudly and confidently in their shoes. And be okay with whatever that truth is versus the person who tells a lie. They got to go behind your back to make the lie plausible. So, step by step, intricately, tiptoeing around you, right? But you might, you might not even be aware it's your mom because it's other people around. So, what they're doing or she or whatever... Is trying to create this circle. So you in the middle, a circle of confusion while she's up on top, right? Pulling these strings and it's all these puppeteers around them and you're in the middle and you're like, what's going on? So you seeing this person for this way and you're like, yo, what's going on with you? Now you fighting amongst these people here. She up here dangling the strings and laughing, thinking it's a joke. Well, you about to get your 15 minutes of fame or whatever it is that you were seeking or looking for. It's coming. It's actually here. Um, yeah, I heard it's here. And if, if it's already happened, pop out of here. I mean, that's double confirmation here, but it's definitely here. And oh, it's a sight to see, honey. It's a sight to see. It is a sight to see. You're going to see it in this person's body, their face, though. So it's just, you're going to be like, ill, ill. What's wrong with you? Ill. You're going to see it. You gonna know who's telling the truth, but who not telling the truth? All right, I, you can't say. Uh, I told you here first, okay? I told you here first. I promise you, 
It's already happening. It happened already. I know what I be talking about. And it's passionately. It's passionately happened. So you're going to see. You're going to be like, yo, you a fucking liar. Yo, you a fraud. You a fraud. Mm. Then they're going to retreat into silence because they can't handle the bullshit that they put out. Liars can't handle what they put out because the truth burns them up. So they got to stay comfortable in the lie because it's comfortable. Hmm. Sad. Yeah, keys. They coming back towards you because they want to ride your coattail. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't like you. They hate you, period. And hate is a strong word, but they hate you. But they want to come back in and, and, and ride your coattail because I'm still your mom. Uh, no. <laughs> Be okay with cutting off people. Fuck them. Your body language says so much. Absolutely. Let me do this again because there's a lot of cards that came out. Your body language says so much. Yeah. You're not entertaining it as you should not. Leaving you hurt me too. Now they feel some type of way because you're not giving them the attention that they're seeking. They're an attention war. That's all they seek. And they seek it at your expense. You're a la you, you are the laughing, but you're the butt of the joke at their expense. That's not or at your expense. I will fear that you will reject me. Yeah, you have. This person did everything possible to break you down. Did not give two fucks about you while all was happening. Now that the tables are turning, they want sympathy? No. Nope. You're going to have to take that to your grave. Just like how you was going to take secrets to your grave. Take that. Take the truth to your grave. See how that works out for you. Because this person is going to self-destruct. I'm telling you. They're going to self-destruct. They never thought. <laughs> yeah, we got nine of wands and the fucking ten of wands here. They never thought that this would have happened. You got two of cups too. Imagine that. They distress over your connection, your relationship. Nine of Pentacles. See the middle? This is you in the middle. Reunion with money. That's you. That's your birthright. And they're doing everything possible to make sure that the, the middle does not, um, it doesn't align with the end. So they got you in the middle here. This is you. This is your goals that you're wanting to accomplish. But on the ending of it, it feels like you can't get out. Like this is maze. You see these sticks here? It's like you are burdened or you are bound or binded. Um, by this person's jealousy and hateful ways towards you. So you're moving forward with the two of wands because you don't give a fuck. <laughs> they got all the wands that they, they got to deal with here. And you have the two of cups, nine, nine of pentacles. And the two, you have the two of cups, two of wands, and the nine of pentacles. So you have a little bit of everything to make something brand new. And all this person here is just have sticks. So... Two of cups, you have cups, you have emotion, pentacles, money, emotional health, emotional wealth. Um, wands, you have movements, so you know where you're going, you know where you're headed to, and you're able to move forward in a very happy, happily way, okay? While this person is in a nine of wands and ten of wands, is all they have is fucking sticks, and they just keep, keep creating fire, restriction, restriction or friction, this is all they keep doing is just creating friction until they create some form of a fire. But the fire that they create is for themselves. It's not for you. It's for themselves. And that is the biggest lesson that they have to learn. This is the biggest lesson of all time that they have to learn this lifetime. Okay? We have Sag. So you're dealing with the Sagittarius and Sun. The Sun, Sun, and Sagittarius in the first house. Okay, we have Saturn in Taurus in the sixth house. Okay, we have Taurus again in the first house in Saturn. Okay, all right, you're dealing with a Libra, dealing with a Scorpio. 
dealing with the Taurus. Always watch my thumb, okay? <laughs> uh, uh, Aries. One more. A Scorpio. All right? So if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Until next time.